study here at the University of Western Australia. Yes, I'm Amy from the United States, doing research on Dreamtime for my doctoral degree in cultural anthropology. That's very interesting research. Are you finding what you're looking for? Actually, I just arrived a few days ago. And for some reason, I'm drawn to this reflection pond. It's so peaceful. It's a great place to relax before I begin my research. The reflection pond is calling you to be replenished and revitalized. That's the beauty of the dairy. The dairy? It is a deep listening which brings in a quiet, still awareness and waiting. So, similar to our interpretation of contemplation and reflection? Yes. In a way, it's going to a place in time for observation. Is that what brings you here? Yes, through the dairy. All things on earth like the water and reflection pond are connected. This is told through the stories of Dreamtime. I'm Bunjal, the custodian of Dreamtime. I'm here to take you to Dreamtime. You can take me to Dreamtime. Look closely into the reflection pond and you will find what you're looking for. Welcome to dream time, the time before time. I'm Aboriginal. And my voice has changed. How is that possible? Aboriginal in the place where dreams come from. You exist as an Aboriginal to understand dream time. The external part of dream time existed before life began and continues to exist after life ends. Would that make dream time an illusion? Dream time is circular. One entity, past, present and future combined. In the daytime silence, the desert heat challenges rationality and sense of safety. At night, the vast silence fills the cold air as you breathe. Crossing the fierce landscape of the desert becomes the solace of the dairy. I'm ready to cross the desert to find peace with the theory and understand dream time. Listen to creation. Breathe and follow her rhythm. shelter at the edge of the desert over the next dune. I couldn't have made it through the desert without your bonjol. The dairy takes us through the desert. Tell me your favorite story about Dreamtime, Bunjal. My favorite is the Rainbow Serpent. The time of creation is Dreamtime. The time when spirits came to Earth from the heavens, and they still exist out of our time. The Rainbow Serpent comes from the sky, pulling water all over the landscape, making the rivers and lakes. Then plants started to grow, colouring the landscape with all the colours. The rainbow serpent slipped under the ground with all the animals inside her belly waiting to be born. The rainbow serpent pushed up from the earth, calling to the animals, awaking them from their sleep. Tribes from all corners of the vast landscape live together as caretakers of the land given to them by the Rainbow Serpent. That was beautiful, Bunjal. I have complete respect for the stories of Dreamtime. Get some rest and we'll go to coast in the morning.
The western coast is where I come into dream time. And this is where we'll leave dream time. So this is where you were born? And you have come here to die? I did come here to understand, but I didn't expect this. Death's a part of a cycle of life in which you come into dream time through birth, and then returning to the timeless, only through birth to live again in dream time. Bonjour, if you need to rest, it's okay. I understand what's happening and it makes me so sad. But I'll be alright. Thank you for showing me your dream time. This experience has made me a better person. You are the least material minded and most life minded person I've ever met. Thank you. Go tell your story about dream time. By keeping the story alive, I will return to dream time and live again. Bunjal, the creator spirit, I will continue your dream time. Closely into the reflection pond, and you will find what you are looking for. I found what I was looking for, looking into the reflections of the reflection pond. Aboriginal culture can be better understood through Didiri, a deep listening which brings inner quiet, still awareness, and waiting. Taking the time to listen to the Aboriginal stories of Dreamtime makes you more aware of your life and the connection to the world you live in. It is an honor to keep Bunjal's dream time alive so he can live again in dream time. Because of the never-ending story of dream time, Aboriginals have the longest and most continuous cultural history of any group of people on Earth.